Now, with your different objects, you can think about, do I need to use just cubes to measure, or do I need to use string and cubes to measure? So, let's take a look at our remote control and our cord. Our remote control is in a straight line, so you just need cubes to measure. You don't need to worry about a string because it's not curved. You have a straight line here. But the cord, you do need string and then the cubes to measure the, that string. Okay, so for today's assignment, you need to figure out, do I need, can I just use only cubes or do I need to use both cubes and string to measure? We've been learning how to measure different objects out in a straight line. For example, like a phone case, or maybe a pen, or a remote control. All of these things are in straight lines. So it's easy for us to use cubes or paper clips or coins to help us measure them, right? I can measure easily from the beginning all the way to the end. So like for instance, the phone case is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes long. Or the pen, take one off, is about seven cubes long. So what happens when we have an object that's not in a straight line that we can't exactly use cubes to measure with? Now, I'm going to show you an example. Here is a cord, and now you can see it's not in a straight line. It's kind of hard for me to measure using cubes, right? I'm not going to get an accurate measurement because, yes, maybe I can start the cubes from where it begins, but what happens if I try stretching it out? Wow, my cord is a lot longer than the cubes that I used. So, I'm gonna show you what you can do when you're measuring things that are curved. So you can use string. String is a great way to measure curved things. You can also use a shoelace as well. So just like when we measure straight objects, we always start at the beginning, not in the middle, not towards the end. We always wanna start at the beginning. So what you do is you're gonna take your string you start at the beginning and you're gonna move your string so that it follows the object as best as you can. Right, and same thing, try not to have any gaps. Right, you can hold your string down. And you see how I'm moving the string to follow the object. So now you can see here, here's the end. So you can use scissors. You're able to cut the string or you can just take your fingers where it ends and you know that's where it's measured. I'm actually going to cut it. So I'll just give it a moment right there. So here's the extra. So now with my string, right, what's great is that I can stretch out my string to be straight. So I'm just going to move my paper so that we're able to see our string. And now... I can take my cubes, or if you're using coins or paper clips or whatever it is that you're using to measure at home, you can measure now in a straight line. So remember, I always start at the beginning. You start all the way at the top. It's always, I find it easier always to start at the bottom. And you're gonna add your cubes as you go until you reach the top. Make sure there's no gaps in your cubes that they're all connecting. Don't have them overlap either. Let's see. Hmm, I think I could use one more cube. Seems just about right. One of my cubes has a space in it. There you go. All right, so now we can count how many cubes long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So my cord is about 17 cubes long. Now, what's 
nice about my cores, I actually can stretch it out straight. It'll kind of go back into its curve when I let it curve, when I let it go. So let's see if it's pretty accurate. I'm gonna start at the bottom. I have one hand kind of hold it there. I'll stretch it out, okay. Oop, just about, maybe more like six to see if it's pretty accurate. I'm gonna start at the bottom. I have one hand kind of hold it there. I'll stretch it out, okay. Oop, just about, maybe more like 16. So maybe I had a little extra in my um, string. So maybe like 16 cubes long. So that is how you can use string to help you measure curved objects. And you can you will find lots of curved objects at home, such as necklaces, scarves, shirts, other things that you might find at home that are curved. All right, good luck with your assignment today.